back in the garage for you guessed it another video anyway um i didn't think i was gonna record this or probably i'm not even sure i'm gonna post it yet but anyway just coming home on a friday wanted to do a little bit of maintenance on the gli um oil change i got spark plugs i'm gonna clean out the air filter uh i put it i'm about to put in some fuel system cleaner just to give it a thing. The, the car just now hit a little bit over 80,000 miles. So I'm going to just do this, switch out the plugs. Haven't done it before. I should have, but I haven't done the plugs yet. So, yeah, let's get started. It's hot out here. I know it's been a minute since you've seen a video, but there was a little update video before this one. So if you haven't seen that one, go check that out real quick, real quick if you care. So, you yeah. know, here's the car. We're home. Time to open the hood and let it cool off a bit. The one thing I gotta get for this car is the stupid I need a hood strut. My GTI, which was a 12, had them. This car does not. This is GLI, it's supposed to be top of the line. It doesn't have, I don't know, it's just, folks, so I can get your game together. So, just. Should have took the wife's car to go get all the parts, but I didn't. I.e. cold air, warm air, hot air. It's Florida. It's all hot air, no matter what you do. So since I haven't done one of these before, I'm pretty sure it's a couple bolts here. We'll pop all that up. But we'll get into that in a minute. Filling up the compressor. I don't know if you guys can hear me. We're gonna use our handy. Ugh. I got a lot of stuff in here. Here we go. Oil pump. Do oil changes in like 15 minutes with this or less. OEM uh, oil filter, but whatever. Been using those, no issues. So there you go. I think I might clean this after. The whole car is freaking a mess, dirty. Haven't cleaned it in probably like a month. It won't even come off. Gonna have to clean them, power wash, polish the lips, get her looking again she still got it she still got it okay so if you've never used one of these or seen one of these I've done a video a couple videos on them before hook your compressor up straight into your uh, dipstick hole and Every two or three oil changes, I'll go under the car and empty the oil pan just in case there's anything sitting down um, in the bottom of the pan. But this does the job. You can do your oil changes freaking at night in like 10, 15 minutes if you know you, you're in a tight spot and be done with it. I think you can even see right there how it's filling up already. So six quarts, leave where my hand is, and we have oil right at the rib. So not terrible. I think this interval was 6,000 miles because I forgot, went out of town and just completely forgot to do it. Whew, man, hot out. Okay, 
So the only thing I really, really hate about doing oil changes on these newer Volkswagens are they put the hole, the holes there, right? Cool, no problem. But it's like all the cam stuff is right there. So you can't just put a funnel in and just pour fast. You have to hold it and make sure it doesn't spill everywhere. It's pretty stupid. Now, if I had a thinner funnel, I'd probably go in the spout here, but I don't, so. Like back in the day, it could have just been over here where you could just dump it in and no problem, but just be careful if this is your first time or you're doing it for the first time. Just watch yourself. For five bucks, who wants to guess where the cover just ended up for this bottle? I put it here. So as of these holes, it's in there, in the fender. Who knows, probably way down here, lost forever. Uh, the, oh God damn it. Uh, I was gonna rotate the wheels anyway, so I guess when I take it off, I'll just pull off the thing and hopefully I get it out. Cause the last thing I need is to hear that thing bouncing around in there. Ah, jeez. 32 millimeter socket for the nut on the oil filter housing. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys a little something. Inside, well, it might not be in these, when I had my CC, um, the two liter turbo, I had an in situation where when I bought the car home, did my first oil change, no problem. Uh, the second oil change, I started to have an issue. The issue was the oil pressure switch or something like that. Every so often the light would come on and took it to the dealer because I couldn't figure it out. Oil levels were good, the sensors were good. What it was, was underneath the oil filter like in the housing, there was like this little plunger thing. It's a little black thing. On these, when you take the cap out, it's stuck to the cap, but in the CC, it isn't. And it's kind of like spring loaded. So I didn't know this, took the cap off. The thing can pop out. So apparently this thing popped out. I don't know where the hell this thing ever went, but since then I would always have that little situation until I went to the dealer and then they put a new one in they said it wasn't there whatever no big deal so every time i do oil changes now in volkswagens i make sure i have the filter ready and i don't leave the car until the filter's out new filter's in it's just a weird habit i know it may never happen to you it may never happen to anybody else but apparently it happened to me and that's my story and i'm sticking to it oil is changed everything for the oil situation is done. Gonna get ready to do the spark plugs. Gonna stick in the fuel system treatment now and let it cool off a little bit more. If you're curious, just check around complete fuel system cleaner. You know, no big deal. You don't need to buy the big one for 16 bucks. This one was like 11, $12. It treats up to 12 gallons, have 12 gallons of gas in the car so there you go time for spark plugs all right i wasn't gonna record this one i think i'm getting sick i don't feel too great but it is the next day and the temperature isn't too terrible outside so i decided to finish up what i started yesterday taking the wheels off cleaning the barrels haven't done that in probably like a year or so so i just want to clean up the barrels clean the wheels pressure wash the undercarriage like in the wheel wells um clean the brake calipers you can see super dusty dirty haven't washed those in a while either then we're going to wash the complete entire car and then probably do the spark plugs if i feel like it i don't know yet i still have to wash the tiguan because that's dirty and birds have been dive bombing her hood. Like, this is what happens in Florida. So, trying to clean up both cars. Mother's Day is tomorrow. I took her out to eat. I took her out to brunch, which is her favorite thing in the world. Um, this morning. Tomorrow we have a comedy show. 
So I want to get the cars cleaned up. Yeah, cleaned up. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh, and also rotating tires. Blah, blah, blah. Doing that. So, here are the wheels. Uh, 18 by 9.5 ET38. I believe it's 38. Yep, ET38. Not a crazy stretch. <clears throat> Some people ask me. A 215.40 on 9.5. Not bad. I don't know. I think I'm just going to wash and clean it. I don't think I'm going to polish the lips today because boys worn out I love when your car I love when your car gives you presents so yesterday oil filler cap not oil filler cap the cap for the oil jug fell down here I thought it'd be down here surprise surprise it wasn't I don't know where it could have been could have fell out because this is actually flopping around down here but anyway saw this cleaned all this out um yeah weird so, and this, on most cars, I know on the earlier cars, like Mark III's and stuff like that, this is a big, big source of rust. It holds leaves, um, dirt, whatever, it gets wet, and that moisture just sits back here, and then your fenders go bye-bye over time. So, every once in a while, just give it a clean up, especially if you uh, live in a more wet state, as it were. All right, so we're back. My phone's gonna probably overheat because the sun is hitting it. So let's take these spark plugs out. I'll show you guys the little ins and outs because obviously camera issues. Okay, so we have these little clips here, covers, and you can see they just have small little clips that just clip into each side. I mean, I tried squeezing, but that didn't work really that great. But what you can do is just take a small flat screwdriver, stick it in the end here, go all the way down and pry up, and then you'll get both sides. That's gonna get you and allow the connectors to release. And then we're gonna come in here and do the same to release the, um, the, uh, uh, the coil pack wire harness. And then, probably gonna yep i'm probably gonna have to undo the grounds no big deal and then pull up on the actual ignition coils themselves okay this might help some of you and it might not this is a 17 car's not that old but the plugs are a pain so all i did pull up on the middle of the section here you'll hear a snap or a pop or you can use a screwdriver going from this angle and pull up gently, it'll snap or crack. Um, what I did to get it off, I took a bigger screwdriver, this one, and I put it right on the edge of the connector here, and I just love tap, and it's set, and it got the connectors free. If you don't need to do it, don't do it. If you need to, slight taps. Just keep tapping, it'll come loose. Okay, so you got and get the harness out. You don't have to release anything, just they come out. What you'll notice, now this is a GLI. It might be different for your model, your engine type. This is a Gen 3 2017 GLI. You're gonna have a nut on top, right here. Then you'll have the ground, and then you'll have another stud that holds the ignition coil in place. Obviously, I've already loosened, taken them out. So you take off your nut. Move the ground, 10 millimeter socket, take off, take out the stud. And that holds it in place. Then, it should wiggle. Hopefully nothing goes wrong, but I have to go to work tomorrow. And there you go. It's out. 
Now, we're not doing this, but we're getting to the spark plug. So you, what you wanna do is my best advice, as you take them out, put them in that order so they can go back in in that order. out of here okay i've already cracked them loose <clears throat> and as you can see i'm still dying slowly crack them loose The moment you realize, uh, now I knew Volks, I mean, I know Volkswagens come with, uh, NGK plugs. People would think Bosch because German, but no. They put NGKs in. It's no big deal. I did, however, go with Bosch as the replacement. Um, each plug, well, you can buy kits online from, like, ECS or, well, not ECS, scratch that. Euro tuning and places like that. If I were you, I'd stay away from ECS tuning. I've heard nothing but bad things, but it is what it is. All the plugs are out. None of them look too crazy. Everything's the same. These are good to go in. To save you guys the hassle of watching, we just put everything back together. We'll cut to me just about done. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. Everything's tight. Everything is secure. I should wash the engine, but I don't have anything to like spray or dress it up. So we'll leave that for another day. I'm tired. I'm still getting over this cold. As you can tell. How dirty this is. That's my bad, but yeah, what are you gonna do? Get on there like that. This is always the dumb part. I'm trying to find where the hole. Oh. There we go. Bam. Next thing I want to order for this car is the hood struts. I'm tired of doing this. This is stupid. Hood struts, clean the engine. Um sometime this year soon hopefully before i redo the garage i want to go stage two so what will happen is the plan for now is we're wrapping the tiguan uh nardo gray she wants nardo gray cool once you do that i'm gonna take these wheels put them on her car so i don't have to run as much camber because i do so much mileage that over time even with the alignment it does wear through tires i go to, i buy tires uh it's been a year and a half since i bought a set so i'm getting ready to probably buy a new set here soon so every year it seems like every year and a half i have to buy new tires no big deal but they should last longer than that so nardo gray those wheels on this car then i'll put the mallory's back on or probably see if i can trade up for like I like peelers, or maybe I'll do another aftermarket wheel. And then I'm going for a little bit more speed. It might sound dumb, but, you know, it's been overdone. RPF ones. And then um, take all the camera out. Stage two, downpipe tune. All that good stuff for a little bit of speed. And then we'll go from there. I need new headlights. need to get the bumper fixed. Stuff like that. And then, who knows, maybe later on, wrap it. A different color i'm gonna be doing the wrapping myself so we'll see how that goes anyways time to start her up take it for a test drive see if there's any difference um we're back i'm gonna try and do as many videos as i possibly can on everything i do like i said i'm back i'm into car i'm back into cars now 
I have a whole project here. I don't want to kill you with this stuff because I know a lot of you guys might not be into the buses. But soon, 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 when we're done with the bus, we're going to work on Christine and get her back to where she used to be. Maybe a color change. Who knows? Anyways, I will see you guys next time.